Okay, well, we do a bit of the unboxing footage. I wanted to give a little bit of the backstory on this thing. This thing is a monster 92cc chainsaw with 25 inch bar on it here and I got a 36 inch inbound. This, these saws are designed for cutting big logs and, logs and swinging big bars and big chains. It's not something you're gonna run all day long. It's not something you're gonna wanna run all day long. It's heavy. Maybe if you're an arborist, absolutely, but then you're probably going to buy the name brand. And that needs to be said here too. This saw uh, is a complete clone of the still, the steel 066 MS660, blah, 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 that, that model series. It, all the parts are interchangeable. This is a complete China clone of it, but for a ridiculously marked down price. The stills, you're well into the thousands of dollars. This, you're into it for a few hundred. And the the track record of these seems to make seems to make it sound like I have a long life ahead of it, and it will just work. So we're gonna test it out. No major no major things to complain about initially. And the out of the box, everything fit together, looks good, feels good. Uh, the only thing I noticed that feels a little funny is the, the choke and start stop lever but I've got to compare that to the real steel and see if it's something unique to this saw or whether they cloned it right out of the main <laughs> the name brand manufacturer or not. Overall I'm I'm super happy with this thing initially. It's a uh, it I think I got what I paid for. We're gonna find out a little bit more as we carry on with this video and get it out into the field and put it to work. Like I said, its home is on big lumber, so we'll see how this thing goes over the next months of service, but for, for now, this is my impressions. Alrighty, so I went ahead and got this case that fits it pretty good. I'll link it down below. Just got that from eBay. And I just had to do some minor modifications to the box, which works not too bad. Just a little forming around uh, around our spurs here. And yeah, that, that's not too bad. But I've gassed it up, I've run it once. Uh, I didn't video that, I probably should have, but it started with a, a hitch. Oh, this is a heavy saw. Make no mistake, this thing's no baby. It's a 21 and a half pounds dry. I forget the wet weight. I'll put it to down on the screen now. Future me will do that. So it starts just the same as any other. Still, move everything out of the way. It's got a compression release. You're gonna need it with this saw. 92 cc. It's a good. It will rip your arm out or destroy the recoil if you try it without it. Pretty much. That was an offer. Up one. just like any other still. I don't have anything big enough around here to test this out on, so I'm gonna have to go north.
Alrighty, no better place to test a chainsaw than where I grew up. This is a family property. It's primarily white oak bush around me. A lot of mosquitoes, but nice river behind me. This is a this is where I cut my teeth learning to use a chainsaw in the first place uh, when I was a kid. Uh, first full day out in the bush uh, actually earned me my first beer too. So healthy, healthy place to grow up. Uh, I had a lot of fun here. So I thought, what better place to test a saw than right here? So we'll just give it a quick go. I, I don't have anything to saw. I don't have any trees felled. Everything is pretty much cleaned up around here, but uh, meh, might as well saw something. Alrighty. I did find a case that finally uh, that fit this. I'll link it down below. I just had to do a little bit of modifications, but here we go. This is the G660, all set to rock. We should be able to give it a try. Just a quick try. I don't have anything much to saw today. So we're just going to just hack a couple of pieces off and just see what it sounds like, see what it feels like. This saw is belongs in the bush it belongs not this is not for cutting campfire wood this is for big trees just over uh, behind the camera actually there's some white oaks back there um, one of them was about four and a half foot across at the base when we cut it down uh, when I was a kid lost count on the rings at 120 or 130 I think and those kind of trees really handy to have a big saw like this it just it just does the trick it's it's what you need if you're for a homesteader or whatever this this saw is probably a little excessive but there's a time and place where you're gonna need it and now we have one all right it is hot today so light shirt uh, I actually have my shorts on but I'm also wearing uh, my my chaps and my cutters boots don't don't saw don't saw without without chops and without cutters boots they'll they'll save your ass they, they, they will save your life at some point and uh down here just in reach i have my first aid kit it's basically a trauma kit it's gauze and stuff um, for massive injuries not not your cut and paste stuff because i'm here by myself in the bush and uh, i do have a check-in system but uh you got a plan for these things just in case, but uh, we'll give it a go. All right, let's just give this thing a go. Oh, we oh, yeah. contact. Works great. Again, this is not your your average firewood saw. There's no need for anything this big for just firewood and whatnot. But when you get into the big stuff, this thing is gonna get you there. And for a really, really reasonable price. Like unbelievable. So far so good, but only time will tell. 
I got a little bit of oil on the exhaust when I was when I was transporting it. Uh, I'm happy, guys. I highly recommend this saw so far, but again, it's early. We got to get it out. We ought, we got to give it a go. So I'll do a follow up in a few months, maybe when we got some more runtime on it, and I, I get a good idea of what's going on. And I, <laughs> lots of oil on that exhaust. So. Uh, I mix it 40 to 1 just for the first tank, so uh, that's not coming from the engine. It's not that rich. 40 to 1 was still oil because the stuff, it just works. It's, it's just good stuff. So I'm happy. I think this thing is a winner. Let's put it into service and see how it does. If you like these kind of videos, if you like my reviews, if you like testing out new things, if you have an idea, throw a comment down below. Throw a thumbs up on this video if you like it. I will see you guys next video. Cheers.